What is going on my hunters, Ramstar here, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Pito in a new gold quest. Well, not really new, this is an old quest. And uh, this is the first time I'm actually talking over the gameplay I recorded, because with this game you kind of have to focus on the actual gameplay itself, and you can't do it really live. So, for this one, the real problem with this quest, the reason why it's so difficult is because there is a limitation to only being able to use characters who are 55 team cost or less. Now, for some reason, the Hisoka Krolo card works in this, but that is your key to victory here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to basically use mostly them as far as who else you want to use in the, in the actual game. It doesn't really matter. But this Pito you want to grab. Let me just hold it find her real fast. Uh, there she is. As you can see, I have all five abilities. And for a free strike card that has, a, that has no six-star evolution, it's really good. And hopefully one day they might give it a six-star evolution, but we don't know. But for now, it's really great. What it actually does is it does 12x damage to one opponent and then stuns them for six seconds. And again, it's a free card. It's just... The trick is you have to fight her. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use the Hisoka Kurolo W card first and I'm going to use the Marion W card as a friend card. Now if you don't have Hisoka Kurolo then all you really need to do is figure out one card that hits hard uh, because what you're going to do is, is you want to, the Kurolo card because it removes invincibility and you want Hisoka to hit hard. But the W card is for like 20 seconds or so it does a lot of damage. So I, I, I'll go over in a couple seconds. So first things first I'm going to go ahead and use Palms, invincibility, not that it really matters. But the most important part about stage one is you want to move everybody to the right side. Because at some point in the map, there will be the frog guy that spawns and he will do a lot of damage, 99% damage to everybody, even if you have invincibility. So you want to stay away from that. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to just kind of let our stuff fill up. I have Kroll as my lead. And the second the penguin dude, this little douche right here, busts out his invincibility, I'm like, nah, take that away. So you bust out the Krolo card, remove his invincibility, and then get back to whooping ass. Now what you want to do right now is focus on filling up that W skill. And I'm going to use my Metaworm right now, the one I'm using for my friend. I'm going to use the Metaworm to kind of wait for the frog to spawn, which is right there. The second that bad boy spawns out, you use that ability to hit everything on the field or whatever card you use in the situation. Uh, essentially, you want to pick something that hits everything hard. And then you just work on taking out the, the penguin dude. All right. Now I have already my W card filled up, so the second we take it to the next spot uh, on map 2, what you want to do again is move everybody to the right side, because where Kortopi and Hisoka are right now, that's where the frog is going to spawn in this map as well. So now that I'm kind of on a range, the, the focus here is to kind of fill up on uh, our skills, and just kind of wait for, for spawning points right there, and the second he spawns, I'm just kind of waiting for it, wait for it, there he is, take him out! Because again, even if you have invincibility, he's going to hit you hard for 99%. And the last thing you need in this, day, in this map is to uh, lose out on um, potential health. Now, as far as when um, Ramit shows up, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and use a W skill to show out what happens. If you use a W skill on somebody and then combine it with a heavy hit attack like the metal one, which in my case, didn't need, I didn't even need it, he has reflect damage. So when I do it, it bounces back and does even more damage. And that's going to be essentially a one-hit kill for when Pito shows up. Now again... Stage 3, you still have the same threat to deal with the frogs. What you want to do here is uh, work on filling up that bar. In my case, I already have full. I do have an item with me, which increases my uh, skill gauge if I need it. But I don't really need it necessarily. Actually, I might use it in the map. I don't remember if I use it or not. But if you want to use it, just in case you can't. Now, again, once he pops up, you want to bust out the W attack to uh, add that reflect damage to everybody. And the second I bust out the metal attack right here, as you can see... It's, they're going to kill themselves essentially because it does damage and then it reflects back on them like 300%. It's pretty monstrous. This is why. See, look, one by one, they're all going to go down flies. Poof, poof, poof. Now, when they go down, it's really important to take your entire team. Actually, for some reason, Raymond has survived, but you shouldn't have. What you want to do is you want to move your entire team away from that area because if they get trapped in between the, between the blue stuff, it's going to start hurting. Now, two things here. Number one, be careful for the, uh, uh, what's well, not the frog, but the penguin. He's going to show up and give him its ability. So what you want to do is, is you want to switch over to Krolo and fill up his skill because the second uh, the penguin pops up, you want to bust out the anti-invincibility to remove it, which I'm going to hold on to in a couple seconds. Um, and the second he pops up, there he is right there. I'm going to use it. Invincibility for 10 seconds. Nah, give me that back. Remove that. And now it's important to fill up that... Uh, the W skill, because the second you know I get my W skill out and I combine it with the metal home attack, it's gonna be a one shot kill. So let's just go ahead and see if I can do that successfully. In this one, it's funny like when I do these boss battles, it's so hard to record it and get that perfect setup. It's just the key here essentially is, is the Hisoka W Crow card. Um, once you have skill activated, it's it it demolishes them. So let's see if we can pull that off. The second I can pull that up and fill it up, it's going to be game over. Like literally, it's a one shot kill. So, to those who have been dealing with problems with this quest last time and this time around, this is all you gotta do. Watch this. Ready for this? Ready for this? Check this out. Bust out the W skill. 
to uh, bring down the parameters. It's going to bounce back on me, but it doesn't really matter. And the second Medwoom attacks, it's going to be game over. Here we go. Come on, do it. Got, make sure you, you also make sure you got to be in range, too. But in uh, case, he attacks everybody. I'm using Palm Skill for no real reason right here, because I'm just kind of trying to fill up. But the second we're ready to go, like right here, bust that out. Uh, and bust out the Medwoom ability. Come on, do it. Again, it's so weird to do this without uh, recording a live. Game over. There it is. That's all you have to do. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't record this any earlier. These uh, boss events only come back for like a day or two. And by the time this video goes live, there's only going to be like three hours left. So to those who watch this video, either wait for next time P Pito comes back around to use this guide or try to beat her real fast right now. Now, remember, you want to get all the skills. But again, if you use a Hisoka W or Hisoka Crow W skill, it's really easy to do. At that point, it's just based on RNG, whether or not you can get the drops. But once you get all five skills, hold on to that Pito because she's going to be very, very useful later. Now, uh, I assume Poof is next because Yupi came out this past weekend. Poof is the hardest one out of all the guards with these golden quests. Poof should be around sometime in the next couple of days or so from what I'm seeing with the pattern. And when Poof comes out, I'll try to like have a faster guy for him because Poof was by far the worst and most annoying boss in this game ever. But hey, at least now you know how to beat Pito and UP and the Hisoka W or Hisoka Crawl W card is just amazing. So yeah, anyways, I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you leave a like button below. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop a comment. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ramstyle, and this is how you kill Pito. And I will see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.